I need a potion soon though. I'm gonna die if I get hit in the head by an Eldritch. Definitely gonna die if he catches me here. Catch, no catch. Bolt. I got I gotta, I gotta a potion. All right, what is going on, everybody? Good evening, afternoon, or morning to my dungeon delvers worldwide. We're gonna be attempting a permadeath to Pathfinder. I'm gonna keep going after that probably and we'll see kind of how high we get. We're gonna be doing some swarm play, but with the new systems, especially the three-layered map, going from ruins all the way down to the deep depths of Inferno, including getting some boss attempts in. So we'll do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, depending on where we're at in the map rotation, but uh, this will hopefully be perma to Pathfinder and possibly beyond. So let us begin. I've got my new arcane focus, which is the shield. As you can see, son of a lich. Start our run with a little pizzazz. Chat asks what customizable race they should be running in base kit for bossing. Mm, yeah, I mean, strength, strength is pretty good for everyone right now. Life leaf. Little permadeath potion. It's like runes is a lot safer than it used to be. Only in the sense that people want to go to Crypts and Inferno. And so you don't have as many people mining for gold and just going ham zone the PvP aspect. Like I think a lot of people do want to survive layer one so they can make it down to Inferno. Yeah, even if you take double jump right now, now that it's a negative 12 movement speed penalty, a little buff. And then you take jokes or to offset that with the agility changes. What do we got? Oh. I'm at mid. There's a lot of static reds around me, so this will be this will be good. What's this? What's this little danger noodle? Is that a rogue? It's probably a lot less safe for me to fight golem now. What do we got? Something on the cross. Yeah, that's not great. I wouldn't mind fighting that, but if we get hit by the crossbow on the way in, I'll definitely lose. Did they just pop a challenge surge? And sprint? He's about to be on full cooldowns. Nice wall hit, for sure. That's gonna be hard to get in range of that Falchone. Not without a rapier. Maybe if he does the, the triple attack and then I could go for a headshot. I don't know if I could peel off in time though. I'm gonna be careful if he sprints forward and then swings, I'll get hit by the first one. Headshot for sure. Alright. Alright. Slightly easier than expected. He wanted our life leaf. Back to what we were doing. I think he must have he must have suffered some PvE damage. He should have went for that shrine. Maybe that's what he came here for, actually. And he got rogued. At least I'm no landmine. You see me coming. Always. Yes, get up here with me. Okay. Functioning as intended. 
<laughs> Straight hacking. I'm gonna go for a strength build because we're not doing hide. I'm gonna be taking most fights head on. Eventually we'll get thrust and dagger pierce. So I'll be able to punch their armor. Yeah, a couple pieces of gear, nothing crazy. I just like breaking these because they could have surgical kits. If we can get some surgical kits, I could probably do... I mean, I could definitely do Ghost King, but I don't think... I think I'd have to be giga geared to do Lich. With a lot of healing. Probably magical and physical healing. Nice, Rondell. What strength build ass chat? What kind of perks are you thinking? I'm just straight damage. Uh, dagger mastery, thrust for the armor pen and actual output DPS. I could go jokester for more strength. We, we just stack damage right now with rogue. You just take fights head on. You, you can do over 300 damage right now. I think Chris is the new Biss for rogues. You can do about 300 damage in a single combo. It's not a dagger, it's a small rock pick for reshaping rock. I see no poison? No, not yet. I'm only level 1. So I take lockpick, especially on the transition from ruins to crypts to inferno. So I can actually get the gear that we need. So it's, this first run's more about building your set on the zero to heroes. And then hopefully you get lockpick so you can swap it out. But you gotta think from Ruins to Crypts to Inferno, you're gonna need at least six lockpicks, especially if you're transitioning around the map quite a bit. Yeah, that's one sub-boss dead. Uh, looks like the zone's gonna pull west, so we'll save that sub-boss, and we'll come east and grab either the Cockatrice or the Wraith. Get a couple more points, maybe another chance at a purple. No shot, Akira! What's going on, man? Jeez, thank you for the massive rate of 150 even. About 10 times a baker's dozen. Welcome, everyone. Much obliged, respected, and appreciated, man. I hope you had a great stream as well. Yeah, it's a cock. I'll just pull the cock to the same place that we killed the golem. We're doing a little permadeath to Pathfinder just to showcase how... I think even casual players can obtain it now with the AP changes and the map changes. Little, little cock action real quick. As you can see, the developers have limited the amount of cheese in the game. And then we've counteracted that with introducing new cheese and better cheese. Granted, your dagger is not really the best cheesing weapon, and going all the way to Inferno to fight centaurs and demon dogs and berserkers, I'm, I'm going to want to swap, but primarily we're going to be focused on dagger gameplay for both PvP and PvE, including bossing. I mean, we just started, right? So we're already just demolishing sub-bosses. There's what we were talking about. I will be building health here. You gotta be careful on your purse slots, right? Since we're going all the way to Inferno and we're stacking AP, I actually recognize now that we can't bring Life Leaf either. Um, a lot of this I can't bring until we get gold coin bags. You know, grays, whites. You're, you're gonna be focusing on blue plus, because by the time we get down to Inferno and we're gaming and we're opening locked chests and stuff, I mean, there's gonna be so many slots for us. Um, I don't think I really have necessarily time to fight this other sub-boss, but I'll, I'll give it a try. We can pull it up to the top of the bridge ramp and fight it there. Nice, I walked right back into that, solid. W. Common SBSW. <laughs> Boots and a dagger, nice. For <laughs> free. Rundell accessible cheese, true. Bard fun again? Oh, Bard's great. I've had so many people talking about it. Plus, I, I've been maining Bard this way for a large part, so. Alright, I lost the golem. I think we're just gonna abandon that. Maybe I'll kill all the adds and then go grab them again. 
If one of my mods can shout out Akira, that would be great. Else I will do it after this. Akira, are you a mod? I gotta mod you in here. Or you can sh shout yourself out. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna abandon that only because right now with the prop ratio to AP, we want to be opening portals and I just heard some. So we will try to make an attempt at that. There's one right there. One of the major ways to gain adventure points with the current system. All right, well, the bar just used his Q or his E. That's both. That's I think that's Rage and Reckless or Fear. Looks like it was Fear. Yeah, I just, need, I just need to let PvE do its job here. I might pull that. Uh, he definitely got hit once, so he's, he's feeling weak. I have 99. I should be able to survive one as long as it's not a, a headshot that's boosted. Okay, he's just going for it. Not going to make it. Got to bait his swings here. Let him get PvE'd. Yes, they all... Oh, he's, he's dead. He's, he's giga dead. Maybe he's just resting, actually, I, I don't know. Just take a little breather real quick. All right, we gotta, I'm not gonna really get the portals at this point. I, I kind of stacked AP here to loot him, which was actually a really good call out. I can get this portal and then leave, or I can open. Probably I need health, so I don't have to sit forever. So I think we get health shrine and then we just run to the static. Maybe I get one or two portals plus static. Nice gingerbread though, that's 700 gold ish. Mm, I should have time to get both portals. And then this will all be restable health for when we get to crypts. AP. Do I have time to go right here? I'm gonna take this off and run for it. Oh, there was a dead rogue too, no! Oh, there was a surge kit! Whoo! Damn, I wish I grabbed that surge kit. My eyes went straight to the, the, the candy. I can't help myself. I want the money. Give me the loot! <laughs> What's going on, Paseb? Hey, let me, uh, Akira, let me give you a mod in the channel as well and shout you out real quick. Kazarin, how you doing, brother? Alright, guys, do me a favor and drop some likes and some love for our main man. Oh, somebody gave one out. Appreciate you. That's right. I'll mod you up. Doing big. Everyone's doing big, and this patch is so good. Outside of the FPS issues and the lack of portals, I feel like this is an absolute W for Iron Mace. Really, really good patch. Um, I'm just going to sit to get my health back, so we will relax for a little bit. Love the permadeath runs. Thanks, man. I don't do them that often, but it's always fun to dive in. Sometimes it can be frustrating just to start. Obviously, right here, we're on attempt five, and none of the other characters could even climb out of Neophyte 3. But, alas, it could all, it could all change here. I mean, we killed two there, and one was dead on the ground. So of the like 15 or so that went in ruins, there can only be 10, I'd say. Plus, I, I have to assume at least 20 or 30% more died. So probably here in Crypts, we have 6 to 8. And then by the time we get to Inferno, it's likely 1 to 3. And at the lower ranks, you know, Neophyte through Wanderer, you're really not going to get people who are that juiced. Um, right now we're in mid-season, so a lot of people have already found sort of their main class. And they're beginning to rank up, so we won't likely run into any, you know, pros or anything like that until we get up toward Path Plus, more like Voyager Plus. How does Rogue feel? Rogue feels great. Um, I don't really think a lot of the things that people are calling nerfs were nerfs. Here we have Health and Armor Pen. Here we have Strength, Health, and Armor Pen. I'm probably going to swap to the Riveted. We're going to be stacking mostly damage. The thing about the Rogue nerfs is that, they, I mean, the 10% loss of AP for Weak Point of Armor Pen 
of course that's a direct nerf but it was also necessary because when we get thrust we're already at 50 percent inherent plus you start stacking it like here two percent and we get another 18 percent through gear i mean you're talking 75 percent armor pen so it's i think that was a good nerf um i like the buff to double jump it means double jump is back to being part of the kit that's what i said you, you take away landmine uh you make base rogue weaker and it's pretty easy to gear right now so i think most people can and will be geared and then we're in a good spot I'm going to probably full loot Pyramid. The cool part about going runes to Cribs is the fact that there's less people. So you can kind of play a little more freely. You don't have to worry as much. this gives us our whole round worth of throwing daggers what do we get from the frosty one percent true max roll on action speed pretty good xl5 ah, insane chris busy here's also where we want to get all the healing that we can get to start stacking in case we can boss down an inferno four will two strength move speed four vigor three vigor two additional physical damage is good but we actually kind of cleaned up on our gloves. Tough choice. Right now, I'd say one of the two Agi 2% max. Mm. Honestly, that one's tough as well, but I'm going to go for swing. I'm going to be trying to build DPS here so we can kill, hopefully, Ghost King round one. I don't know if we'll be able to. Also, it's really hard for me to take Lightfoot boots now because they don't have any base stats. And so when I'm looking at something with 5 strength or 5 vigor, it feels a lot better than movement speed. But also, I don't need to be that fast with the build that we're going for. We're just going to be taking fights. So we will not be stacking movement speed or agi nearly as much. And since we did take lockpick, this will be our goal. We'll just be to shift around to all the best modules. Now, 2% strength, 3% max health. We'll pick that up. And then we will go under pyramid, I think. Looks like we have a good map and... What's that above us? Church. So we could potentially get some really good loot there as well. That is church. What would be amazing would be to get a gold key and then you just run your gold key. Or maybe you get skull key off boss and then run skull key. I'm trying to solo warlord myself. I've seen a lot of people trying to solo warlord. I love that play. I want to do it in a really good gear set. And I think it's definitely possible now with the stat changes. I mean, we've seen a couple people, especially Warlocks, almost landed already. It, it might have been you that I watched, Kazarin. So I think if you're especially good with Longsword, you get a couple parries off and repost, and he's definitely dead. Trying to get these stuck on this. Lose a little bit of AP, but gain some safety. Was me? That was a good video. I was already theorycrafting on whether or not Warlord was possible solo, and after watching your video, I, it definitely is. I don't think you reposted at all, and I feel like Warlord is one of the easiest bosses at present to repost. He's already super easy for me to block. Um, I wonder if Speed Shrine is worth it on Rogue, because my miss is so slow. I feel like I could gain the same amount of distance just not getting it. I'm just going next. I will be trying for 1,000 AP per round at least, but I'm, I'm confident you can get 2,000. So we can use Pyramid to cheese as well for those that are interested in, in sort of the how-tos on cheesing. You can definitely use Pyramid to cheese sub-bosses.
Nice. Actually, I feel like this. I've never tried top stab, but top stab must be easiest because they actually can't transition up anymore. But as you can see, you can you can really choose them. You can just move between layers. Oh yeah, this is definitely doable, no doubt, hundred percent. Yeah. If I had a rapier, I could probably hit him from here as well. Wait, I do have a rapier. Oh my god. <laughs> Good thing we looted that dead rogue. I totally forgot we had that. I'm glad we discovered that early in the run. Likely you could also jump up on statues and do the same thing. Unfortunate quarterstaff drop. Mm, pretty light on heels. Is this church? I should have went church for the gold chest. Uh, we do have a shrine coming up. I can't remember the name of. Uh, oops, I was looking at the minimap. I can't remember the the name of the room to the north. Maybe maybe circle, maybe wheel, but that'll be a good one. I don't take gems because uh, mostly the mummies don't drop blues, and I really only want blue one slots. Uh, and we're gonna be getting just an absolute ton of purple plus treasure from Inferno. And if we get Ghost King, we manage to, although right now I don't have enough heals for GK, but if we had, like, let's say, seven potions, I could do Ghost King, and then I would have ten pulls on the treasure pile as well. So I, it's kind of just, you know, user, user discretion. Y'all chillin'? Uh, looks like we have four square to our east as well. Angie and max health. Mm. Maybe. Mm, that does look like four square. Let's go do four square and then maybe we'll come back to get the AP from opening the trio of reds we just saw. Uh, there's like a four shot already. One health shrine? No, that's boxes. Um. Up. Oh, Almost just died for it. Oh man, I might have just killed myself. I'm being perfectly honest. Burning a lot of AP loss by not opening these props. So many portals we could have gotten if I just didn't take as many fights at the end right there. Damn, I just gotta use bandage. Else I'm gonna be sitting in the whole time we're in Inferno. I don't feel like we're playing that well this round, but I'd still say this is gonna be a level 10 run plus. Level 10 plus and at least a thousand AP. Why well, take the silver though? And yeah, just another thing that I'm, I've been doing. I, I really shouldn't be taking silver either. But I'm treating this like I'm level 20 with good gear, whereas I'd be actually filling my inventory with really good stuff. We'd be transitioning through the modules faster, killing the sub bosses. Um, here we could. 
Mm, I don't think it'd be worth it to go for health shrines unless I had a hand crossbow. Because I'll have to climb up and find several archers and crossbowmen, plus it's out of zone. I don't think I'll have time for it. The silver weapons are worth collecting uh, silver for. Probably especially if we're going for PvP, uh, excuse me, PvE and AP, it would be worth it. What kind of silver weapons can rogues make, though? The short sword? What else? Is there any daggers? Some, uh, chat said there's rondelle, so that probably would be worth using. Yeah. I mean, we already have a blue rondelle as well. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped that blue rondelle. I could have, yeah, I could have made, no. No, I'd have to quest. I'd have to quest. We could only get up to blue or green or whatever the lowest tier is. Yeah, just also make it a swap for bossing. That's a good call out. That's an easy free 15% damage. Yeah, on a on a perma run, I don't think we'd get our weaponsmith high enough to craft that stuff, unfortunately. Here, I'm probably just going to loot a lot of the small boxes. We don't really have a lot of healing, so I don't want to transition too hard or put ourselves in a poor position. I'd like to just live at least on this one and then get enough gear and supplies to go to Goblin and kill Troll. And that'll put us in a really, really good spot for the perma. Yeah, you can see right, right here just goes really, really hard in Inferno. Thank God that rogue had that. See, now, now I can pretty much collect any treasures because I'm not sure how full we're going to get this. That has armor pen. I probably would take that. Just collect everything we can. But this module is cool because there's only two monsters that you have to kill. It gives you access to like 15 small chests. Try to get legendary gems. Yeah, that'd be huge. I Again, though, I, I don't want to die for it. I'd have to move some modules with gold chests and heavy ornates, and I, I just don't think we'll have the necessary supplies to get there. I'm trying to look at the map. Next one over has two demon dogs and two nightmare skull bats. Yes, legendary gems do drop from ornate and gold chests and marvelous. Core strength, armor pen, and power. I can't remember if there's any small chests in this box. This might just be a um, spawn box. Nope. Cool. So that's eight from the rooms and then four on each side. So that's at least 12. There's an invis spot so I can transition through Warlord. Which I think we will have to do. Um, I actually, I don't know if I'll need an invis spot on Rogue because I do have fast wrist. I have fast interaction speed. I'm going to put it on the bar just in case, but I don't think we're going to need it. Although I really risked it. Probably would have been better just to use it. Nice. Free skeleton pull.
I mean, that's without perks. I'm already like four shotting a dog. Without perks, without gear. 3.3% PDB. Spellcasting speed, close. I don't want Zerky here. I'm going to let him leave, and then I'm going to transition to the next box and probably pull the Zerky from there into here. Well, I could pull him backward. I mean, realistically, if we have time, we could clear this box and maybe get something really good. Let's let's go for it, actually. Pull him away. Door frame on my right. I'll be on the left when I'm looking backward. We'll have time to full clear this. Maybe just some of it. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. If we had more time, for sure. If we had more time, more healing, and a portal, like an actual portal that I could see, I would do it. Okay, shield guy, that's not bad. Can I throw? Uh, honestly, I'm about to campfire. I think we can't be. I should have went in this other module to start with. Honestly, the other module that's got the Berserker and the two Demon Dogs that are cheesable and the Centaur and the Wraith. I mean, that, that's the best module in the game still, like I showed in my economy guide. Although, we went pretty fast with our current gear level and healing. I did alright. Uh, I could have time to clear it still, to be honest. I don't think so we have rape here. So let's go for it. God, I hope I didn't pull too much. I didn't shut the door behind us, right? So we could always go into the other module if I need to, but I might have pulled too much here. At least we have the shitty gray rape here. Imagine if we got a hoof. I've gotten two wipes without seeing a hoof. If we got a hoof at level one, that'd be wild. Okay, there's my portal. I think we have time. We have, what, two minutes left? Okay, I don't know if this can reach them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna open this and then move. Nice, oh, insane. I'm just gonna go for the lightning enchant. I don't care. 
do as much damage as we can real quick so we can get a little bit more AP and loot the corpses. Uh, let's get these first. Uh, I can also open those. Ornate Jazz is better than what we have, which is nothing. Where's my Zerky? See, those are both trash. Open this for AP as well. Maybe we get all the portals right here. Mm, do I have time to open the final one? Or that's fun above me. Do I have time for this shot? Kind of risking it. I have time. Alright, I mean, I missed a lot of portals in both Ruins and Crypts that we could have gone, but I'd say for level 1, that was a, a pretty good run. 37 minutes, just about 1,337 AP. That is going to boost us all the way up to, I think, just about Apprentice 3, yeah, about 300 away. So that is Neophyte 1. And next time we'll get us quite a bit higher, and we've, uh, we've boosted our way through half of Goblins. We'll have about 2 Goblins worth of time, I think. Monetarily, I feel like we probably did absolutely insane. I am going to grab quests. I don't think we'll actually have time to do any on the way to Pathfinder just because it is so fast now, but you never know. Maybe we get lucky. Skeletons we might be able to do, 75. Most of the stuff, uh, this one we could do. Probably not. It's done. <laughs> That's a lot of PvP we'd have to get through. But All right, let's see. Actual total earnings from that run is going to be pretty wild. Considering the fact that we didn't boss. Plus 600. And a gear set. Uh, what level did we get to? Uh, nice, we made it to level 10. Actually gives us quite a bit of perks. We have two lockpicks, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to take Jokester. I'm going to take Poison. Probably actually take Jokester off for now. And I go Thrust and dagger mastery and now we're built purely for dps at the moment um we could go for a goblo gamba for some rings that's gingerbreads damn courage though pray for us trash totally not worth it uh, i'm gonna go for a rapier as well trash not worth it negative 200 gold <laughs> yeah there's no way this has anything just based base weaponsmith but that's right we'll grab the supplies that we need that's gonna be nine potions and nine bandos wish we could buy a surgical and then we'll buy two gold coin bags we have two lock picks so i think we're fine and with that we will drop into our next round at level 10 neophyte one diving into goblin caves here i will be going for a troll kill i'm starting to learn cyclops i still am not confident enough to fight that on permadeath especially with the current stuttering that's been happening of late Pray that we don't get luck pots. That would have been a really, really good call out. I definitely should have brought luck pots for everyone that's watching this that's trying to go permit a pathy or just casually to pathy. Definitely spend for luck pots. That's going to increase your AP output immensely. And your luck pots gain incredible value right now. Good early find right there. Double max, triple max health actually. Um, nice centipede. I mean, the luck pot for centipede is to try to get. Epic Jewelry, especially. Go ahead and just kill some goblins while we wait for the Sunbeam Poison to start. This module is incredible, man. Cave Pit Hall has got two centipedes on the bottom. A lot of chests. We can just clear bottom and leave top. Um, probably what we'll do here is I'll try to get both centipedes and then we'll drift east to troll. Uh, in the future, it'd be good to get troll and cyclops, but I'm not I'm not comfortable enough with that yet. I also feel like there's a lot of RNG involved with the rock falling. It just does so much damage. Purple ring of resolve, huge. Magic power, kind of misrolled, but still better than nothing because it's a little more poison damage on top.
I'm lucky I didn't get one shot by that. Damn, he was one shot too. I could have just saved myself so much damage. But we do have the campy, so we'll campy. We also just have to be hyper, hyper aware of toward the end of the match. We have to find a portal. There are not nearly enough portals right now in Goblin Cave for the 5x5 and the 15 player cap. Like I mentioned earlier, me and one pag have already talked to the devs and requested more portals. I think the statics are also broken right now. I hear a player here. We're going to try to engage our first PvP. They're on the other side, looting all the shelves, I'd say. Hope it's Ranger and he has no traps. PDR Shrine plus Blue Pot. I think they're down low with us. Warlock, honestly, a dangerous opponent. Plus, he has all his souls. I have to get him to balk the wall here. There's balk. I'll just wait for that to go away. He used that way too early. And he knows it. I'm gonna take so much damage from the Dark Reflection, though. I wonder if he can one-shot me with Dark Reflection. Maybe I get him to hit wall here. Fuck, he's in with me. Now he has Bach back as well. Not my favorite, I'm just gonna transition to ramp full. Honestly, this is shit. I probably just killed both of us. Narrow? I'd say he dies, though. I'm gonna pull Centipede back in here. Maybe just some of the monsters to start with. That was almost death. Very disrespectful to PvE there. I'm gonna open north in case someone comes behind me. If someone comes this way, there's no way I can pull back west. I'd go for that poison. Poison just does so much, so much damage to rogues. Three will plus one all. It's one strength, one vigor. PDR. That could be better. It's hard to tell. There's a little bit of health on it. There's a little bit of health, a little bit of damage, I think. Three will. A little more magic resist, a little poison resist, a little poison output damage. I'll take it. Um, I wanted to go east to troll, but now I don't know if we have time. I kind of want to go loot that warlock, but I don't know how much he could have done this early in the map, but I'm, I'm confident he died up there. There's a health shrine. Did you die, little guy? What? He got out? What a legend! I guess I pulled most of the monsters away when I went down the ramp. Sorry, we just keep, I think we keep going east. Wizard the worst solo class? Um, I mean, a wizard's really good, but 
the odds of getting killed by somebody invisible or coming around a corner are still immensely high. But, I mean, you, like, it's definitely one of the most skill-based class, and the class that can likely put out the most, the most damage. It just has the highest APM. Okay, here's our portal. It's in Cyclops. I think the other thing, Cyclops is hard right now because of the desync. Like Ranger. That's the geared Ranger from the lobby. Diff, thank you for the sub, brother. Beautiful T1 gift. That is the Ranger, man. If I get my. Mm. Ah, that was stupid. Don't you, don't you take my portal. Oh, man. That was not, in fact, the Ranger. It would have been a good fight for us if we hadn't pulled this. Non played fighter, I'd definitely win that. Sounds like we get lucky and we get another portal just west. Yep, we're already cleared. I'll grab these two and then we'll open that. Permadeath the path is uh, is crazy. Good luck. Let me know if you want to do a duo. My man. Oh, you're doing duo as well. I've seen a lot of people. Do I think duos, because of the way bossing works and the points you get from bossing in the pile, I think duo is probably the, the best chance for permadeath right now. And since you Goblin doesn't have a lot of portals, it's probably the best chance for a duo to live compared to the trio. I mean, me and Odin were duoing last night in Goblin and we killed like eight-ish players, and there still weren't enough portals at the end. Like another team showed up, and then we have to do battle for the final three, and there's no time. So maybe they have to spawn two, two trios of blue, blue portals, like one a little bit further out, and then give it a little bit more time before the circle collapses. I don't know. Right now we're getting lucky. Like I actually have two portals that I've heard and seen. I want to go further than path if I can. I know no skill is, I think right now, the world rank 2 player or world rank 1 warlock or both. I think he was going for... <laughs> is this the warlock from earlier? It sure looks like the warlock. Looks like he did not survive. 4 dex, 2 strength, 3% max health. 4 dex, 2 strength, 2% max, 3% max health on game. This is at 113. Oh, no, he was so close. Look at him reaching. Ah, the portal. Oh my god. I I'll just open portals for everyone else. It's fine. Here to serve. That's the trio, but it sounds pretty quiet. I just have to pray there's not a ranger alive. Comes around a corner quiet and just shoots Mary's under the water. I, I could probably hear him though. Plenty of AP this time as well. We did good for Goblino. I think we opened, what, six portals there? Six portals, killed a lot of centipedes. I did a lot. Just 
Try to grab some last little bits of AP from something. Yeah. That definitely takes us into the apprentice ranks. 400. That is apprentice three. Uh, and we get one more goblin. I'll take it. I mean, that's about right. Because we went ruins all the way down for 1300 and we made 301 goblin without killing any bosses. Didn't get that much treasure either. Um, I didn't have to use any of our lockpicks. Two strength, 3% max health, three well, one all. I don't know. They're all good. Oh my gosh. I will grab luck potions. I think you're right. Thank you, Coach Chat. Coach Chat with the come up. All right, I will be right back and we'll drop back in. But I mean, we're two rounds in and I feel like we're already pretty statted out here with 30 decks, 25 agi, 25 plus strength. Uh, we have quite a bit of gear. I think one more round, we should have probably full purple jewelry and then we'll be ready with enough monetary gains and healing to pressure Ghost King on the next crypt rotation. I do want a solo Lich, but man, I don't, I don't know. There's no room for error at all. I'll have to maintain full health integrity all the way through. So when we get hit by the purple aura, that's 90 or 95% true damage. I'll have to have not gotten hit, you know, really at all up to that point. Permadeath is some of the best dark and darker content. Tim the Pup, thank you, man. Thank you. First run was hard to top. I don't know. I think that first run was actually easy to top. We should see far more than 1300 points going forward. I just didn't have the gear or the clear speed or the healing to take risks. But I think going forward, we get way more portals. We kill. I mean, you got to think the more geared we are, the faster we PVE clear. So I should be able to hit more modules and crypts and Inferno. Um, I'm also less afraid to PVP and more likely to boss. Granted, last time we had Warlord and I doubt I would have been able to do the boss. But if we get a boss kill in there and we get the 10 pull on the treasure pile and the marvelous chest, those are all a lot of points and a lot of potential to get epic to legendary equipment and gems. But I, I do really like the patch for the gearing aspect. It doesn't take much to be able to outplay PvE now. I mean, we're, we're two rounds in. And we already have 110 plus health on our way to 130. We'll get probably 35-ish strength. Be hitting for probably three to 400 on a single combo attack. What am I going to take for the last perk? I didn't even check my level. Are we level 15? I don't think we got five off that, off a single goblin. Um, last perk, probably Jokester or Hand Crossbow, if we get a good Hand Crossy. Likely Hand Crossbow. It'll be really, really good pressure for PvP, right? Pure plus HCB. Hit him with the hi yeah. yeah everyone, everyone just ran straight to my portals. They want it out. Uh, I'm going to go for Troll here. Gold chest, then we go, then we go troll. They had a new goblin sound, yeah, to the, uh, the Nightmare Goblina with the shield. They did. Sounds like a little choo-choo train. That's not great. Plus it's a rogue.
Wait on that side. It sounds like he went the other way to fight though. Here comes plate. Not great. Play with the spear as well. I might be dead. Jesus. Fucking range on that guy. Oof. Good sprint. Kill him, I just need time to heal. That was three hits that we survived, so he's not that geared. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good thing he didn't have a crossbow or I'm dead there. Crossbow or throwing axes, I die. It's so hard to bait out their attacks now. Alright, player here. Pl oh, what? They got rid of the, the climb. Oh, that sucks. That was such a good climb spot. I'm taking away a lot of the high skill parkours for some reason. Just to make it more equal, but... I don't know. Anybody could have made that jump. I think we can outright kill this guy. I do want my gold chest as well. Do we have a lockpick? Oh, that's son of a gun. No, dude, I'm fuck. Oh, whew. I don't want to waste my attacks with this. Oh, I'm about to trade with this guy, unfortunately. Yes, throw your daggers so I may loot them. A spider? Yes. Okay, he also wasted poison and rupture. Okay, he's one up. Get out of here. <laughs> Brother. Alright. Nice dagger. Nice, one up. I'm up one. Mm, no. Nice. Whoo! Rogue on rogue violence! Stabbing orifices. Stabbing orifices, my god. It's out for blood. 2 MH, 1 MP, 3 true, 3 knowledge, 1 true, and move speed. It's interesting. 1 dex. Four strength, 2 dex. 2 power. Okay. All right, now let's go do troll.
Uh -oh. Nice, I'm stuck. Maybe I get lucky. Gamers always, gamers always prosper, boys. Fuck, he's fast. He's back. He's back. Stupid. Crouches, bastard. No! Let me live! My god! No, oh, the god! 
The goblin caves! The goblin caves! Whoo! Well, we are certainly climbing to the best of our ability. Got a few hundred points there, nothing crazy. Still up in Apprentice 3. Not a lot of points, but a lot of PvP that round, non-stop. People W-King like crazy. 100 gold. We probably spent more in healing, but that is okay. We went the distance on that run. I feel very lucky to be alive. Uh, that was a perfect invis pod play as well. We definitely should have been smoked on that one. Just need a little bit of room to breathe. I'm not scared of barbarians. I'm scared of teaming and being locked in a corner with spiffer mummies. All those crouches that that fighter did. Even dropping me a potion. I'm pretty sure I go to pick up that potion and he kills me. That's some Tarkov level madness. Little insanity. Mo, thank you for the 100 biddies. Appreciate ya. Um, what do we want to do here? So we do want to bring some gold coin purses. We're back to crypts. Um, part of me really wants to bring lock picking, but I think we kind of need what we have for PvP, and it does seem like players, at least now that we're an apprentice, there's a lot of aggressive players there. Thankfully that ranger missed too. The, the quad shot on the serve bow is for sure enough to kill us. The one in Vizpot went so hard. All right, I will drop into solo crypts as well. I'll be right back, and I'll see you guys inside the match. I just want to do it for the hell of it. This is a great room right here. This is my one of my all-time favorite rooms. This is two mini bosses and three lion's heads. And next to us as well, just to the north, is another skeletal champion and a royal. Now, look how much compared to when we started our output DPS on everything. I fear nothing. Oh, and it's Coliseum, so I have actually three chances to get gold toys, uh, gold keys here. And it's, it's kind of my dream to get a, uh, a golden key and use it the same map that I find it. And this is Coliseum, so if we get lucky and we get a key, I'm gonna use this mage to fireball all this. Well, so much for that. Um, also, the room just to our north has a health shrine, so we can kind of swarm play on this. And we have a campfire as well. Unassailable Chris Dagger. God, the burst damage on it is so good. I was definitely going for the gank. I think I can kill him outright. If I get close enough, he's got the sour spot on spear. Devastated.
No. Good shot on Ranger. Good reaction speed too, considering he almost just got crossed. Fifteen players solo, it's a lot. It is a lot. Surge? Mm. I don't know if I want to waste it yet. Like I'm gonna need an inferno, plus I'd like to have I can't really buy surges in Perma if I'm not gonna be trading. So I kinda wanna keep it for bossing as well. I don't think I have time for champion now either. Maybe. Um, we are by static at church. Mm, I think somebody was in the other room with me too. I, I didn't get to loot our. Uh, I didn't really get to loot what I wanted to loot out out um, in that first room we spawned in because I, I think somebody was above me. I don't know. I, I heard stuff. Even if they weren't there, I didn't want to risk it. Can I fight this here without pulling the Axeman? Maybe. Shit. Someone's waiting. Um, I can go surge and wait at the static underneath. I'll let zone push, so we can't get rogued. Yeah, someone's there. I think it's a rogue. Just gonna bounce. Can also open this golden over here. Rip, 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 rupture and poison and weak point. Ugh. Ugh, what, dude? That insta shot. Oh my god. trash for the most part.
I was gonna leave. I thought about going to clear church, maybe get the gold chest in church. But I can go sit if I'm not last. Yeah, I'm not last. Now we relax. It's all going bad. That went bad quick. How do you hear people? I mean, I've got noise canceling headphones on and I have my volume up very loud. But there was definitely somebody outside right there. I don't know if they were waiting at zone line or if they heard me fighting champion and just left as zone collapsed, but they were for sure there. Well, love, are you right now? I'm, I think 12. 12 or 13. Somebody said getting getting spider silk was gotten at the cost of sanity. The best way to handle quests in this game is to just do them casually. Never aim for it specifically. Just play the game as is. And if you get it, you get it. And you can kind of recognize what step you're on, right? So for spider silk, you can kind of go for spiders since there's probably like a dozen spiders now in Goblin Cave of the giant variety. But I don't think it's worth chasing like, you know, W king to the modules. To go for it, LT will lose your sanity. Same thing with the pelts. But my cleric got his silk at level 3. And then my fighter, I think it took 600 spiders. And then I got my first pelt after about 100 trolls, but I kind of gave up looking for it at about 65. And then I got rewarded because we got two gold chests three days in three days. Two gold chests within three days. Best part of quests is vendored purples. I agree completely. Um, we're down to four potions and a banda. Uh, I, should, I shouldn't have pulled all this. a little bit of unnecessary damage there. I'm gonna go see what boss it is. I think if it's GK, I can go for it. If it's Lich or Warlord, I skip. Nope. That means I can use my potions as well, else I was just gonna sit. And then, um... We can full loot all these little chests, and then maybe head over to the uh, our favorite module. I need to figure out which portion of the map my favorite module is on. It looks like probably southwest. Looks like the zone might end there like last time, and then we can get we can cheese everything again and get centaur, berserker, both dogs. Hopefully the wraith this time as well. There's a really really good cheese spot that I only learned of because I saw another rogue do it, and you don't even need double jump. Southwest, yeah. Five Agi. Whoo! That's a lot. Nice. Good luck, picks. I think I do one speed shrine here, just so I can transition through Warlord. Plus I don't have an invis bot, so.
I do like when it's Warlord because you, you always know if someone's transitioning because it is so loud when it explodes. have time to clear this but but I think I, I think I do have time to clear this plus the other one this time we have a better circle this is I can also get skull key I don't know how I missed that but... What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments and for my Twitch chat. What do you guys think so far about the uh, the no invisibility rogue? I feel like it is a very, very strong class. Our out DPS, our output damage, I should say, lets us really kind of just fight anybody. Granted, if I get hit probably two or three times in my head, it's going to be a different story. I could get just absolutely collapsed, but I'm at 110 health. Let's see what our PDR is. 25%. It's not bad. I feel like I do more damage than a fighter. Do mo more damage than most classes. I probably can't fight a lot of these classes in straight 1v1s like a barbarian, but I don't know. If they give me an opening, we can take it. And I can get that's a little more active gameplay. I don't have to just kind of hide. Just take those fights. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely grabbing crossbow after this. We probably get level 15 here. And then we found hand crossbow, so that's going to help immensely. At least for the initial push. Uh, I should not have double pulled that, but I got lucky and we got two shields. HP. Nice portal bias as well. Another HGB. Let's see. 3 power, 24, 24 2 weapon damage. Take this. And then I do want to go to the other module. I'm going a little bit slow here, but 5 will 2 dex. Damn, that's really good. If this wasn't perma, we would pick that up. Carried the trade. I'm just going to do a. I don't think I'm going to trade, Chad. I think I'm just going to do a solo self found for this. Solo self found to Pathfinder. No, I, I sacrificed uh, going to the other module for Centaur and Berserker in the mid chest for this one.
Can I fight this somewhere? I think there must be a decent spot to cheese in here. Probably with double jump, I can get up on top of a statue or something. Maybe this wall over here? Something I've never really investigated, but this looks this looks correct to me. This is definitely right, yeah? Not for sure. Alright, cool. That means I can kill the other berserker now as well. Just have to clear this first. Well, this makes this room, to me, a lot more valuable than it used to. I think I pull the other Zerky and we just eat the damage. 5% PDB on that. What? Where's my Zerky? There it is. Um, I have time for this right shot. I'm not, I'm not risking everything right here. So worth it. I was gonna go for the little chest, but I don't want to risk it. <laughs> You'll then leave. I believe uh, the shrine is counted as a prop. So that's that's 900 on a, uh, a crypt to Inferno. Really, really good. That's gonna bring us up to Apprentice 2. Uh, also level 15 is big halfway through apprentice 2 and we finish our class and i i do think we go hcb for pvp good old hand crossbow everything else looks good i think joester could be strong but this can i don't know this lets me kill wizards and also really wound other rogues very good round 340. Uh, we should have enough candy to gamble as well. Enough candy canes. 26, that's definitely enough. I don't really know what we need right now. We're in a really good spot. Are we going? Uh, runes, okay. Um, runes for the full rotation, then I'll skip half of Goblin as well. Grab some more knives. Probably another five stack of bolts. I usually don't use that many bolts, but you never know. Okay, um, probably we go for another Gamba. That's an Oxia for Gingies. Gambezi. I don't know. Ours is so good. It's so hard for me to want to spend money on this stuff. This is pretty cracked. Uh, let's check Nikolaus. He does have a rapier. Ours came with one weapon damage and 2% AP. It's pretty much max. Jazzerant. I don't want. I could go for Rugged. Go for a little Gamba. 5 Vigor, 2 Agi. Hmm. I don't know. That's okay. Do we want to trade health for damage? This is at 120. That's pretty healthy. Strength is mostly power. Also gives us slightly more move speed across the board. I guess it's good to level ourselves out. We're 95% without our weapon out. It would be hard to run away from things. Probably want a good mix of both. A little bit of sustain. All right, guys, this is looking really strong to me. I think we uh, drop now. 
into uh, the ruins. I'll be right back and we will go put my perks on. I feel good. We can also use rapier if we have to for reach. Very, very good rapier drop there at the end. That was well worth it. I will be right back and I'll see you inside the next match. Trying to go for ruins to crypt to inferno once more. I don't really want to be locked in a cave, but there could be a gold chest in here, so we're going to go for it. Rip. I did indeed forget the luck pot. Yes, I'm sorry, chat. Thank you. Especially if we go to Ghost King this time and get our first pile pull. I will have regrets, but... That's above me breaking in. Hard as well. I'm just gonna come out while I still can. Rather than just stand there, especially if he has Shrill, that'd be a huge loss for me. Mm, I don't know if I wanna use it on a small ornate compared to a large one, probably not, yeah. I mean, we did get a purple, it just wasn't for our class, but I think in the future I save those. Um, I think here we're going to play a little bit safe, maybe play some edges. I think I'm going to go well. I'm trying to like figure out how to prioritize runes, because I know there is a lot of loot here. I just don't know exactly where it is, because I never really played this map. Usually if I do play, I, like yesterday, I was playing with Nizori, the rank 1 wizard for ruins, and it's a lot easier just to follow somebody else around. But it's probably time we learn where all the best loot is for AP gain. Luckless and hoeless. Yep. The dream. God dang, we're putting out some damage now. That's, that's with the health build, too. And with only a blue Chris. Rogues, yeah, rogues do need a pickaxe to break boxes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean doesn't want to move around that much? Never know where their landmine might be. But part of me also wants to play the Vigi game, so. So you just pray you don't get landmined? See what this is chopping on wood right here. That landmine. I still think we should not have invisibility in this game. Depending on how long his invisibility is, I just can't go that way for like 20 or 40 seconds. There's a bard now. Did he kill Rogue or did he run Pi Rogue? That's the real question. Mm. 
Alright, rug with cape. This is the safest spot in the game, unless there's a ranger. Bard with cape, rug with cape. Crouch to duel. versus rogue. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to fight a warlock, that's for sure. Get dark reflected in a box, that's GG. Kill that guy. Kill that guy and take a bunch of damage so I can kill you. This reminds me of Final Circle and other BR games when you're like the last people alive and nobody wants to shoot. Rogue on the schmove. Warlock relaxing. Magic staff user. Prepping for the 1 to 2 tap. Blue portal for AP. We'll go grab that. Heavy ornate over there. We'll grab that as well. I feel like I waste my runes though, I, I don't know. I can never really get a lot of AP here, but this is it's a weird map for there to be 15 players on. It's so open. One less rogue. Just break boxes? Yeah, I, I just refuse. Nine will, two MH, that's interesting. Nine health, two MH, compared to one all? That might be a dub for us. 127 health? God damn. I don't want to kill this bard. Two less people that'll be in crypts. Mm, two lockpicks left. I don't, I'm actually not sure what can be in there. <clears throat> I definitely don't want to use all my lockpicks on the top layer though. Save some of our juice for Inferno. Ch Coach Chad says this big box we just pressed is the, the juicy AP. I don't want it. I do want to fight this warlock, but only like kind of. So the most dangerous class is now in crypts with us. Damn. 
I mean, that's the only way I'm going to be able to kill him. I'm going to have to use hand crossbow and three to six, you know, three to eight or nine throwing knives. And then pray he goes for a Hydra life drink, jump Hydra and kill him before life drain gives him too much. Uh, there's so much room for error there. I definitely think Dark Reflect hits us for like 40. And then Bach one taps us. Not really sure how to deal with Warlocks on Rogue right now, other than just mid-range pressure with HCB plus daggers. Issues if you run out of bolts or daggers, that's GG. Did I open all three of those or just one? Coach, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Do we gain all the AP from those portals? The slayer that I saw in lobby, the hand crossbow. All three, thank you guys. Uh, I don't see any portals. I hope he goes blue as well, and then we only have to contend with the, uh... Wait. Wait, what? Where is that? I see it. Oh, uh, you know what? Forget it. The Slayer... I think Slayer's gone, but if he pushes for that and I'm opening a portal and he headshots me with crossbow, that's probably GG. Ah, uh, he was gone. Dang. That's right, that was a good risk. It was smart of us not to take that. Man, I can't believe that like the portals come up so late. Rogue needs a grappling hook. I'd say Ro Rogue definitely doesn't need a grappling hook. Chat asks what makes Warlocks so dangerous is when they stack souls, and the souls are not consumed when you hit them. So the Dark Reflection, which is considered dark magic, hits you for Giga, like 35% of your health plus on a melee swing, and it comes back every 15 seconds. So they either phantomize away, and then 15 seconds later, I'm going to take another 35% of my HP and damage when I attack them. Or after I hit them, they're just going to put on Blow of Corruption and hit me with a Magic Staff for like 130, and I'm dead. So that's basically what you have to contend with right now with Warlocks. Plus, obviously, the Curse is going to hit me for like over half my HP because I'm a rogue. Uh, typically, they're also extremely, extremely fast. Like that one had Cloth on, so he's probably got Cloth and Quick Boots. It means he's gonna be able to keep up with me with Phantomize, so I can't really outrun him either. It's it's a very like the fight is very close almost always, even if I outplay them, in my opinion, or I come out of stealth. I feel like Dark Reflection is just a little bit overtuned. Only because they already have a lot of ways to deal with players. I almost feel like Dark Reflection should be a spell rather than a passive, but I could be alone in this thought process. Just I feel like when I hit a warlock, I, I just take too much damage. I don't feel like I should lose 30 plus percent of my health for hitting somebody. That means I, I, I do not almost ever want to push to melee in that situation. Dex 3, 3 armor. That was a terrible chest. Maybe an unlocked chest below. Do I think nerfs are needed? Mm, I don't know, man. It's nice to see Warlocks on top. and It's another one of those really high skill APM classes. That typically also requires quite a lot of gear to operate, kind of like a wizard. And so I, I don't really want to call for a Warlock nerf. I'm not sure it's needed. I probably just need to change my mindset and only fight them at the mid to long range or don't fight them at all. We can just consider that class to be scissors to the rogue's paper. Because I think rogue is already very strong. And there, there's not a lot that I'm afraid of, but definitely I fear Warlocks, which I think is probably a very healthy fear. Uh, maybe if I run Cutthroat, right, I could also take something different to deal with it. I think Cutthroat might stop them from getting Blow of Corruption. Obviously, it stops them from casting spells, so then their, their kit is turned off. Probably have a better chance.
I mean, that, well. Yeah, I guess you could take a pink potion. You could take a magic resist potion. I guess it depends what rarity it is. How much does the magic resist potion block? I have a good circle here, so I'm gonna clear this room for the chest in the back line that I didn't get on our prim death like three runs ago, because I just died of the raid. But we'll, we'll clear the back line, and there's usually two lion's heads. In. You know what? I forgot to go under to check the other lion's heads as well. So we have we have some things we can do here. What? Holy fuck. Oh my god. What the shit? I was inside the door. God damn, I'm lucky we didn't get hit by that axeman in our head. That was GG. <laughs> Doors for the new meta. Holy shit. I'm just gonna cheese this. I got a little bit of fear going on. I'm in cheesy. Wow, that was a lot. I would have definitely been sad and for sure went and made an angry Reddit post if I died right there. I gotta be careful with potion uses. I wanna save at least five or six for Ghost King. I also just realized there must be not very many players in here. We saw a lot of people leave. So I think we're going to be very, very relaxed here in Cribs and probably super relaxed in Inferno. Someone's always going to be too strong. Yeah, but like the thing is, they've all. Oh man. Five Agi, two Strength, two Dex, two Vigor. Five Agi, two Strength, two Vigor. It does kind of feel like this to me. That might be a little bissy Bubowski. Let's see, movement speed now up to 96. No. No. No, I don't want any. No. I'm guessing this says nothing. Yep. Ugh. Four Agi, two Fizzy healing. Action speed, that's pretty juiced, but I don't want it. I think we'll go Lion's Head to Health Shrine and then we'll bounce. I'm like, I don't want to get greedy and get a couple more chests, but it's not really worth it. What damage do I get on the hand crossbow? I, I didn't check on dummy. I can look after this. Mm. 
Nah, I'm, I'm good, Warlock. Um, I'm good. No, and I can no longer go that direction at all. That's southeast. He, he owns the night. to see right here. Couldn't really tell what that was in the shadows. That's where just and that's career real fast. And then we can go to this static right here. Which is already open. Yeah, open. We have a little bit of time. I think I'll play mid. Maybe get a little bit more AP. Looks like he might have full cleared mid. Just juicing his way through it. Warlock at the chest see. Skellies, putting in an axe, that's Thanos, axe plus spear, my god. I'm good. Mm. What else can we get? Act. We'll just go down. I'm guessing he's already down. No, he's clearing. Okay. That's alright. We'll relax. Kick for damage says I want to be a god. <laughs> Put the campfire in the equip slot. I could probably just use campfire right off the rip here as well. Do I want to buy 10 three growing knives? 10 green throwing knives from you. I'll do it after this. I, I think I am going to do solo self found a pathy here. I mean, we found such good equipment. I definitely feel like you can solo your way to pathy at the moment. I'll pop a campy and then we'll roll out. Demon mouth. Is this the one with the bats? Um, I could probably probably kill bats with HCB and rapier here. Um, then we can fight in the other module, and if it's Ghost King, we fight Ghost King. But I, I do have to be kind of wary of this warlock. I'll need a door if 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 I fight GK and warlock comes in right after it dies and gets a curse off. I probably I take an L or like the other day I actually took two shadow bolts to the head from cross room, one after the other. They were such good shots, and I got two two taps basically. Taking pickaxe for boxes. Mm, I mean, I want to rank grind, but I don't want to bore myself. So, no, I probably won't be killing any boxes. I'm not really a box meta player. I kind of want to open this in case I have to, in case he kicks me backward. Let's see what boss it is. If it's GK, we we'll probably just go for it right away, despite the Warlock being here. He seemed friendly, I don't know. I want to fight him and I want to be hostile, but man. Not really a class I want to fight. Oh, it is the bed sheet. What kind of game? Do we right here fight him? Do we Chris fight him? Probably Chris fight? Let me put this here and then we. Oh, I don't have very many potions. I do have a purple potion though, it's going to go huge. 
Purple potty into blue potty should be more than enough. And then we'll put some on the other bar just in case. And then I will turn off auto swap. I think we Chris fight him. Oh, that's not even the right weapon. Uh, northwest is my escape. Stack all the puddles here on the outside. No. Too close to the puddle. He probably jumps again. No. This is the, gonna be the fucking tricky part. I don't really know how to kill bats here. I mean, that was pretty good, actually. That was pretty good back clear. Fuck. That was on the outside. We run inside only. I picked up one stack there. Should be okay. Be careful on second stack. Pretty good. Fuck. Maybe on the other, I might have just killed myself. Nice, nice. Mid. Okay, really good back clears. Scream again, it's gotta be. Okay, big fucking scream on this one. I need a potion soon though, I'm gonna die if I get hit in the head by an Eldritch. Definitely gonna die if he catches me here. Come on. No catch, no catch. Bolt. I got a, I got a potion. Fuck. Nice. Nice, he killed the bats. No oh, shit. A fucking huge loss on that. No, 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 no. Okay. Fuck. Honestly, I might not get hit by this. I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna go corner. I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna risk it. Big, big fucking risk! But paid off! Let's fucking go! Oh! That's, uh, that's my first time in the last wipe. Killing GK solo on Rogue. Very tough with the bat. Look at all the dead bats. 
Dead bats for days. Um, I'm not gonna pull it all, but I'm gonna get marvelous. I hear warlock yonder as well, so he's definitely in here. Big. Um, I dropped I dropped purple treasure somewhere, but I don't know if I care. I dropped a purple four slot. I think I see it. I'm just gonna drop these. God damn, that was risky. Damn, GG's. Let's look for a portal. All right, two portals here. See a lot of spiders. This looks uncleared. We are relaxing. Three portals already. Some free AP on this. I'm getting killed by spiders. Oh my god. It's happening. My biggest fear. Christ! Let me on the portal! Yeah! I'm gonna leave. You know what? I feel like we have time to do more. Wait. Oh, you know what? That uh, was a gold chest. I don't have a lockpick. That kind of worked. A thousand points. 1k plus. Another one. Alright, that is Apprentice 1. 300 away from Wanderer. We are actually climbing and doing well. Also level 17. Could permeate and get uh, level 20 as well on that. God, that was a crazy GK kill. So the bats do kind of kill themselves by twisting around, but I think if you... It, it's so close, it's so narrow. If you do a single miss rotation, you're dead on those bats. I think they slow you as well, so you get slowed and then you get triple hit. Woo! Alright, I forgot luck potion last time. Let's uh let's bring a luck pot this time. This is solo goblinos, man. I almost wanna skip. I almost wanna skip. I kinda wanna splurge on the higher tier potions. <laughs> almost. Just in case we have another barbarian encounter where I gotta chug potions on the move. Got to move it, move it. All right, am I missing anything this time, Coach Chad? We got gold coin bags. We got some uh, luck potions. Unfortunately, we don't have any lock picks, but um, we could sack something. We could sack poison for lock pick. But if I go troll, I I really like having poison. It just makes it way faster. What else are you using your money for? True. I mean, we've been gambling a little bit, but nothing crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two true damage and double move speed. Yoinkies. Hey, yo, 100 gold put to good use. So we, I don't know if we need to double roll. We could replace this, honestly. It's really only three will in the end. I've been crazy if we got another perp. Um, we can maybe go for riveted as well. Kind of big gamble run. Dark leather, I don't care about. Short sword, I don't care about. Uh, 
That was a really good gamble right there. It's probably a 750 to 1250 ring, maybe a little bit more. Leather cap is Rogue Biss for Vigor. Um, I'm down to give it a go, someone said. Let's see. I mean, that one's definitely not that Biss. That one's shit. Uh, so I have five strength on this and two will. Uh, the Shadow Mask was two all, but that's it. Do we think we take that? That would be two strength, two will, two vigor. It doesn't have any headshot protection, though. This is only 5%, but it's also a little MR. I think this is this pulls ahead with the armor pen as well, plus debuff duration for poison. I think we keep Shadow Hood. Five strength, two will, go crazy. It's pretty good. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I would love to have a five vigor cap. Puts us in a good spot. Plus, we got rid of our vigor boots and our vigor gloves to take strength, but this rolled really well. Here, I would I would probably take boots if it was four or five vigor and then two strength or so, but I mean, this does have all the stats we like. Uh, that almost feels like a plus two all on the shoes. All right, well, I think we're going to go cave chat. This could be where it all ends. I feel like this is the most likely map for us to die into a landmine. So I do move around the map a lot, plus somebody can come push in here and devastate us. Whilest we finish troll like earlier when I died of the three men. Pickaxe? No, I'm still not going to be breaking anything, guys. I don't want to break stuff. I know it's meta. I know we could swarm play a bit, but I still like moving around. I still like taking fights, PvE and PvP. I do have bolts. Am I doing solo lobbies? I am currently, yeah. I'm so This is solo only, solo cell found permadeath mode. As we head toward the release of the test server, uh, Terrence already said they want to, they're want to. they going to want to test solo cell found as one of the first tests or like an exciting event that's going to be coming up. And so I think the best way to get ready for that as well, because I'm sure it'll have its own leaderboard, its own pros and cons. I'm sure all the streamers will be there too. There's going to be a lot of really cool stuff happening. I definitely feel like it would be fun to, if, you know, if a streamer dies, they have to raid you with all their audience on solo cell found until they climb back up to 20. You know, you just have people raiding each other left and right. It'd be so sweet. Imagine an integration where killing somebody forced their audience onto you. So XQC comes plays, you know, and then you kill him. You get like 50,000 viewers. That'd be nuts. All right, we have arrived. Inside Goblinos. Welcome back, chat. We got a bis spawn for troll as well, so we'll go for troll right away. We don't die to stagger, man. I've been having some really bad FPS and stutter issues today. Like, look at that. That's so bad. It's like slideshowing. Super dangerous fight here, honestly, especially on Perma, but the chance at loot and my greed won't, won't stop me. I don't even want to jump attack. Normally I would jump attack for a double headshot on that, but here I'm not even going to. I'm just going to try not to jump. I'm going to make small, relaxing movements. I pray I don't get pulled back into a hammer swing. Or pulled forward, it would be more like... I'm not even going to go for a double on this, although I always go for a double on the wide swing. I'm not going to double up. Just give myself a little bit better of a chance. Not getting swiped. Just one here. Just one, gonna miss out on some headshots, so it'll take me a little bit longer to kill him than it normally would, but I think we go for safety here. Safety over a DPS race. Go for chest. Oh, 
else we can let the poison do its work. Like I said, I, I like taking poison for bossing. Probably went pretty hard on Ghost King as well, especially when I had to run away. Anything. Pretty fast troll. Nice troll piss. That'll be really good for bossing. Super good for our next GK fight. Oh, I don't have a lockpick. Unfortunate. Resourcefulness cape. Big link. Scoop that up. Put that on for now. Wait. Okay. Um. What's the best way to learn? To learn what? To learn how to boss? Best way to learn how to troll and cyclops is to just ram yourself into it over and over with like a green weapon and mostly naked, like a green weapon and boots. And then on the side while you're in queue and moving toward the boss fight, watch the YouTube guys from Mojito Beans or Luffy Taro or one of the other people who released a guide for it. Two true damage, goddamn. I'm gonna wear those for right this second. Just for piling. Honestly, it's not a bad watchman. Two magical damage and PDR. You could almost take that over my cape because it's three strength only, but that is health and damage. morning shaggy hello love cyclops and the troll mechanics yeah yeah you just i mean i had to as well guys i <laughs> i had to do it I, w I wasn't born like this i shaped myself into it yeah i, I ran my head against troll for over three hours and I'm, I'm starting to ram my head against cyclops as well it's just now that the map's way bigger it's a little bit more of a son of a bitch i mean it used to be far easier to run straight to the bosses to learn now you kind of have to clear to get there you got to contend with you know 15 players where there used to only be seven so it is much harder now to learn these bosses. Plus, everyone else, you know, we're mid-wipe, so a lot of people know how to do them. So you're going to be running into that as well. But you'll get there. Throwing knives, though. Always like it when the zone pushes through so you can't get landmined. Can't get bombed here really at all. It will be revealed. It's barbarian probably above. Definitely sounded like above. Two 
go for some centipede kills here, but we do already have three pretty juiced purple jewelries. That's next to me, maybe same level. Clear a little bit in case I need to run. I can always take elevator here. It's just there's a lot of monsters up top. That's above. Portal as well. That's a lot of goblins. Jesus, that's a lot of goblins. Dang. Not a lot of room for error on that one, eh? Man, you gotta hope no, one, no one's in. I heard that door break and looks over here with a bow and just pops me real fast. I'm just gonna leave, honestly. I wanna loot, but I'm a little bit afraid of someone stealing portal this late into Goblinos. Wow. Actually, a, a lot, considering how fast that run was. Treasure 650 off that. Big. Big point gain right there. Yeah, chest in the middle, I did see. I, I just did not want to risk having our portal stolen on that. That brings us into the Wanderer ranks as well. We are on the way to Pathy. Big plays. Feeling good. Feeling very good. Really, really generous round for money gain as well. Probably somewhere around 500 gold. Maybe a little bit more. 650. I think we will start splurging on white potions. What was this? Two will, two MH. Hmm. It's all right. Be good for fighting Ghost King and other bosses to get health back quicker from the MH, as magical healing is now connected to potions, which again, barbarians can actually stack MH plus potion chugger and do some swarm play as well. A lot of classes able to play outside in the swarm again now that you can get all your rested health back even after standing and your high vigor allows you to sit and regain two health per second while sitting so you can kind of just sit in a lot of places and not take any actual damage you just regain whatever you lose from the swarm we will take a large potion of luck as well i think we have plenty of throwing daggers i'm gonna buy two more likely we'll end up dropping throwing daggies 
for treasure for AP gain. And then, I don't know, maybe we look to gamble more. We do have 700 gold here in the solo self found. Two Agi, two Fizzy, 1.2% max health. I almost want to say that outplays our Ring of Resolve. What do we think? A little physical healing, a little more extra health. Rat resourcefulness pendant, that's not going to be worth it. Heavy boots could end up being really high vigor. We'll give it a go. Trash. What do we think, chat? The Ring of Resolve boosts our poison a little bit. Or do we want some movement speed and a little bit of health? It's not like that great, but it's okay. You found the YouTube cheat code. Pendragon says this video is going to pop off. Let's go, baby. To Agi. It's a lot of MDR as well for if we get into a fight. It'll also save us against poison. I don't know. I could bring this as a swap in case we have to bandage outside Swarm. I think we'll bring it as a swap. All right, guys. I will see you inside the next match. Give me just uh, two or three minutes to throw off the snipey no sniping. I'm gonna have to get a heart rate monitor for this. Heart rate solo cell found hardcore permadeath. I'm sure when that barbarian was chasing me, it would have been up at like 120. Ramping. Mm. doesn't want my luck pots i do want your luck pots yeah i'd love to take those i was in um after this uh permadeath after the solo cell phone i'll take them All right, let us dive back into some crisp play. I feel pretty confident now that we beat GK. I think we could kill Lich as well solo, but I'm not sure I'm going to be willing to try it. <laughs> I need to beat Lich. I've already killed GK many times, not with Rogue. It was the first time I've killed uh, Ghost King still on Rogue in a, a very, very, very long time. But... I should probably drink my luck potion as well. I don't think we take silver anymore. I don't think we're going to be able to get weaponsmith high enough. Well, let's see what do we have. Clear that way for sure. Let's 
This guy looks stuck, I like that. Just free. Thing. I wish we'd kept the iron ore when we killed a golem. So we could have made some lockpicks. <laughs> Somebody said I brought I brought uh, gold already in the bag. I did that. My bad. That's all right. I was trying to look at the the uh, mini map, <clears throat> see where the next sub bosses are, the next gold chests, next large AP gain. But really, if we get I think the major component of this is getting down to the boss and bossing. This is going to make it so easy, honestly. That's a minute and 40 seconds. Probably use that after the second scream, maybe. It'll also probably save me from bats, even if I get hit. That plus a health potion will definitely overheal me. This is all dead. I'm going to go a different way. I'm going to go uh, west. This is dead as well. Partially dead. Wraith bold. Wraith pulled the rogue. Good ears, honestly, very good ears. Oof. Two hits, I mean, we don't know how low he was, but I mean, this is doing a lot of damage. Dex one, power, additional damage, max health. This, that might be better. 123, that's 123, plus power and physical damage. I think that outplays that. That damn close, either way.
my paranoia kicked in. I thought I heard something. What stats do you want on Rogue? Um, right now, you, it depends what build you want, but you probably want damage and health. Probably some move speed to escape the classes that are going to outplay you. knowledge <laughs> that's a lot of knowledge magic damage for poison yeah but I, I would honestly I would personally I would take actual damage over magic damage if I could but I mean it's all gonna be good you can't really go wrong I don't know like I'm not gonna <clears throat> I can't pr really go over like, abyss build for rogues. This rogue isn't actually my natural main this wipe. I was playing a lot of bard. But I definitely think damage and a bit of health is going to go really, really far. You just, Especially the way I'm playing right now, where I'm basically just W-king and fighting any class I come across. I just want to be able to out-heal and out-damage them and sustain. And then heal off the top. I would prefer no resets at all. Or I'm going to go in with hand crossbow, then throwing knives, and then Chris dagger. but probably damage and then health or a mixture of health and damage. And then I don't really feel like I need move speed other than the fact that I'm gonna need to reposition so I don't get smoked by wizards, rangers, and W King fighters and barbarians. But I feel like I'm, I'm in a pretty good clip right now and I'm not really afraid to take those fights. Four vigor, two strength, one additional magic. <laughs> yeah, all right. Goodbye. What's north? Just north. Kind of want that. Five strength. It's got a little bit more headshot protection. Five strength, 1% armor pen. Or do I want health here? Kind of feel like I want health here. Puts me at 128. I'm in a really good spot. I just keep growing. Most of the headshot damage, even 3%, feels like a lot to me. Chat said Wraith loot. Oh, you are correct. Thank you, coach. You are correct on that one. Yes. Um, I gotta start looking for portals, or go to static. I don't really want to clear. <clears throat> This is a lot of AP, my god. I don't even have time to open all these. I'm 
taking blue in case somebody comes from out of zone, especially Ranger, and like triple shots me. I wonder what's worth more, the blue or the red portals? Or is it the same, do we think? Overdose on AP. Red is worth more? Okay. I guess they do appear later in the match. Overdose on the AP. Iron Mace spawning portals just for me. Pathfinder to celebrity. Alright. Man, I don't know. We only saw, what, one or two people killed one, one escaped. We will see how many are in Inferno. Do I, I don't know how much reach. No, and I don't know what all is considered props. I know that portals are considered props, so they are AP funnelers. But I'm not sure what else could be a prop. Maybe shrines or props. If only we had a wraith to loot. I, I would like to have two, but I, I don't think you need two to solo Lich. I think it would be very tough to solo him, but it is totally possible. Uh, especially on Warlock. And probably on Cleric, if you got your magic damage high enough. You could almost one-shot all the adds, and then you keep one ad up. And then you just heal yourself and potion off the auras. And I think you'd be in a good spot. I can't do it on this guy. Uh, I don't think I have nearly enough of what it takes. But I do think it is possible. I think it's possible on road. I mean, your, your speed is so fast at bandaging and getting your potions back. It's just your DPS has to be pretty immense. Ugh. Not this guy. I'm just gonna go for it. I think I can four combo him. Yeah, I can. I'm putting out a lot of damage right now. I'm gonna full clear maybe this room again and then try to kill some more berserkers. Uh, that was a good clear last time we did this. Plus, we know there's lock picks at the top or a skull key. Pretty much free low. Actually, I don't think I have time. I could run up there and grab it. And then shut myself in this room, maybe? And then lock Zerky in the spot next door. Let's see. Lock. 
boxer he in here. Okay, then get Viola, then you're at Biss. Yes. So lock him in here. Pray I don't get stuck for some reason. Then go for Skull Key. I don't know. I don't fuck it. I'm not gonna run through all that junk. No, nah, it's not worth my perma. My luck, I, I run through and Mage smokes me. Mage hits me with Fireball Direct and I'm like stuck on a monster and I just literally evaporate. I wish I'd played different. That's a pretty good stiletto. I do like stiletti, but it does not have the four attack. I feel like the four attack lets me miss a lot in PvP. I don't have to land all of them, just some of them. Oh, fuck. Sick crossbow shot. I even thought maybe I shouldn't skip that, but then I couldn't think of a reason to kill it. Alas. Please don't invis pot, please don't invis pot, please don't invis pot. Please don't invis pot into a Bardish headshot. Please don't invis pot. If I was a rocks for brains barbarian, where would I go, chat? I'm gonna find him. Bottom hotel is spiders. Maybe this box is where he started and he cleared to it? No. More strength, two additional magical damage, interesting. Purple health pot is a crime. Go find and kill him. I will try to look at that. I 
to suck that up. Damn. Five bigger, five percent PDB. Oh wait, three energy, one point five. That's really good. Where is he? He vanished into thin air. I'm gonna keep farming. Did I ever gamble all the cookies? No, I, I gambled nine cookies, which is like a third of a gold key, and I got a, a shitty weapon, and I, I gave up. It doesn't take me long to not want to gamble, you know? That's what it comes down to. Uh-oh. I feel way less confident about this right now. <laughs> I wish I'd only pulled one of those. That's all right. Plus 900. Oh, the come up. Level 19 as well. Moving straight into the ruins. That is going to be a wonder or two. We are almost at Pathy. The climb commences once more in just a moment. Got to prepare for a full travel from ruins to crypts to inferno. Oh yeah, let's see the ring that we got. Uh, ring of Vitality, three Vigor, 1% PDR, 1 MH. Oh my gosh. Um, I could go for that, I think, on this slot. Puts us at 132, we're pretty tanky. We lose the will in MP and MDR, but we haven't really run into very many uh, magic classes as of yet, of course, you never know. I'm just gonna keep buying extra, because why not? And give us a better chance. I'm just splurging now on the higher tier bandages and potions. Let's see what Goblino has to offer us. Uh, Foxy, it's gonna be hard to outdo ours, but who knows? It's super, super juiced. Yeah, a bunch of grays, bunch of crap. I mean, we're pretty stacked. I think I'm about ready to drop again. Let's see, we'll move this here for now. Purple pot of healing. Purple blue prot pots. We'll send it with some better bandages. All right, guys, I'll be right back, and then we will drop here in just a moment, or right now. You'll never know. <laughs> Yeah, chat said I saw somebody gamble 100 cookies, 110 cookies, and get nothing. I mean, that means he gambled three golden keys. He, he gambled 20,000 for nothing. Granted, if you get an artifact, I don't know. I mean, that's, you know, potentially 100,000 gold, but I guess it all depends if you like gambling. And I love gambling when I'm winning, and I despise gambling when I'm not winning. So I shall choose not to gamble. So my emotions are not placed in a state of roller coaster. <laughs>
อืมหอมเออสังเกตุ I poured myself some delicious cereal so I'm gonna go AFK for like 40 seconds here but we were in match we were relaxing carrying forward chat asks will this be the world's first permit at the Pathfinder I don't know but it definitely looks like about A three and a half, four hour Pathfinder, which isn't bad. We've been playing very well. Definitely, if you're not a boss, it helps immensely. All right, my apologies. That was freaking delicious. Nice little healthy alternative. Mm. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's get that dub. Get a little bit of loot. Mm. I don't know what we do here. Do we kill wolves? I see somebody. Big hit right there, huge. Okay, he knows he's gonna have to take the fight. Okay, I'm gonna let rage play out here. Okay, nice dagger throws. He's definitely poisoned. Nice, another hit right there. Big hits, big hits. Keep it up, keep it up. Big hit. We just take this fight, to be honest. Okay, we let rage. That might be reckless as well. Got to get him to hit the wall with that stuff. I think I just go for it, honestly. Especially if I can get him with his dagger in his hand. Always heartbeat inducing fighting a barbarian. Unga. I had that guy a ton. I did so much damage to him on the way in. I feel like we hit almost everything. I don't have any throwing knives though, so w e l l see under that. I'm gonna have to be a little crossbow annoyer. Pew pew. Good thing we got that wolf stuck as well. I would have hated to have that wolf fighting us. What was that wolf? Come here. You fuck on me. 
<laughs> I mean, he didn't have a lot of room to W key there, though. I played well. Also, getting on that rock <clears throat> wasted his first rage. I don't know what that was. Was that rage and reckless? I'm trying to think where I might have missed some knives so I could pull some back, but might just be the end of our knives. He should have just not taken 20 knife hits, yes. I'm glad I had that many knives. But now I definitely wish we had more. Maybe I can trade. I'll turn VoIP on and trade a rogue candy canes for throwing knives. Like a wandering NPC merchant. 24 and 3 max health, 25 and 1 MH, plus PDB. Four vigor, two strength, two percent max health. That is interesting. Four vigor, two strength, two percent max health. Lose a little bit of move speed off the top. So good. I don't know. So. Oh. About to die trying to stop my cats from fighting. Oh! Jesus. Foul beasts. Now they're running around my keyboard trying to get me killed. Is Chris Biss uh, after the Castagnon nerfs? I think so, definitely. I think Chris goes really hard. The four combo is immense. You really don't have to hit every hit. I, I feel like with um, <clears throat> both Castagnon and Stiletto, you really got to land those. Chris, you've got a little bit of room for air, and it's still outputting, I think, more DPS than both if you go four for four. Show cat. Hmm. Maybe when we're between rounds, if you remind me. I'll show the new cat tree that I got them for Christmas. Scavenged, I should say. This is interesting. This is usually not cleared. It was mage, though. Who would have cleared this? Bard? There's a drum on the ground. That's a pretty high indicator that it was Bard. Oh, I forgot to drink my luck potion. That was a hit. That was a good shot.
Oh my god, that crossbowman is right on top of me. I'm so lucky. Oh, I hate you. I want to take that fight, but I don't want to die for it. I definitely think we can come out on top there. That's right. I probably should have opened uh, two more reds off that. For the AP, but good round. A lot of PvP, a lot of back and forth. Just keep going with the pot push. Um, yeah, probably, but I didn't have weak point up, so I wanted to I wanted to kite back. I also didn't know what his secondary was. I could have assumed it was second wind, but had it not been second wind, I would have been way, way up there, right? And then I just wait for cooldowns, go for a little more ranged fights. I'm playing a little bit safer on perma. Probably you can just W key there and, and take the fight all the way. But I don't know. If he puts up kite shield and he blocks and I kinda get stunned off his like a perfect block. And then he I don't know, arming sword two or three tap smates. You know. It was a good fight. I mean, I came out on top. We won the battle. Hopefully I chased him to blue. As long as we secure crypts and I chase people to blues, it's always a win. Like I always say, every fight where you don't die is a win. Any game with full loot PvP, your objective is to always save your gear set. Someone chat said the perks for this run. I've got thrust, dagger mastery, hand crossbow mastery, and poison. really that appealing to me where's the am i near some big chests what's this way is this the fps loss room yeah it is yeah i don't really want to do this room either probably because i'm gonna need a lock pick but i'll go until i don't need lock pick plus honestly there actually are sometimes quite a few heavy ornate chests i got three the other day on this map or this module i should say Three unlocked heavy ornates in a row. That was a big one. Is that a heavy ornate? I can't really tell. Porto goes to Crypts. Yeah, Ruins to Crypts to Inferno. It's the full three-layer map cycle. The same thing that they're going to be aiming for. <laughs> um, heading into the upcoming content update. We're going to get Ice Caves. And then what looked like Ice Village. And then the Ice Abyss with the upcoming, supposedly hardest boss in the game, the Ice Weirvin, the first dragon. It's going to be huge. That's probably coming for the, maybe the wipe? Actually, I don't know. How much, what do we have until the next wipe? We have 40 days. And in about 20 days or so, we get a big content update. I don't know. I guess it depends, like, how much they're working on at once and whether or not they have a separate team working on the competitive PvP arena. I mean, their team is 50 members now. That's a lot of people. Up from 18 about a year ago in internal. 
Hey, thanks, man. Somebody said they saw my, uh, saw my name in the lobby. Yes. I am there. Back in the internal test. Learning how to kill the lich. Took the entire community. About 200 of us were playtesting back then. So awesome, man. Everybody trying to figure it out. All the groups wiping over and over. It was really hard to get gear back then. Other than the fact that you could get any piece of gear in any, like, receptacles, so you could actually pull uniques back then from, like, a barrel. But they were just giga rare, and so you never really saw them. So you'd basically have to play, like, all day to finally get enough gear to go try the Lich fight. And just nobody knew how to beat him, so you just wiped everybody all day. Kind of like the Warlord now, to be honest. Watching all the videos of people attempt Warlord, and then watching Todd Father's team kill a Warlord in one phase. Seeing the really balls, you know, huge balls players going for reposts on Warlord as well to put out some big damage. It's been fun, man, following the development. I can see this game going the same direction as, you know, World of Warcraft and Destiny, where it's like the world race with the three mans trying to figure out how to kill, like, Ice Dragon, let's say. Um, I don't think that's a gold chest, so that is a chance to not be lockpicked. That is a lion's head. Nice. Hmm. That's interesting. Four vigor, two strength. Five strength, two move speed, two will. Five strength. Two moves, two will. So many good choices here on this SSF. I mean, you could tell if this, if, it, if I wasn't doing Primadeath and it was just solo self found, we would actually be stacking some pretty great spare sets. I would have already had that Chris Dagger, quite a few hand crossbows. We got that really, really juiced. What's this? Looks like a rogue. Open this. I mean, it's definitely there. He has to be. He's probably in Viz. He had potions on his belt, so. I'll wait for Invis to wear off. And I'll fight that. I don't think he had a cape, so he's probably not super geared. 10 steps isn't a lot in pyramids either. He was there. Now it's a resourcefulness race. I didn't think he'd get invis back. He might have potioned that. I feel like we're only killing rogues this permadeath. It's like all we've ran into so far. You can tell the rogue nerfs were huge. <laughs> That's why everyone's still playing them. <sighs> Give us a 100 man battle royale, somebody in chat said. I like that. Oh, this guy was freaking stacked, man. It's not super geared, but he's, he's got some juice. At least treasure-wise. Oh, finally. Thank god. Oh, I should have thrown the explosive bottles sooner on that last one, but I like the way that we played that. 
I, I don't really ever carry explosive bottles, so I'm glad that we're doing it now. It definitely feels very useful for pulling them out of stealth. Alright, let's see. Any blues? Blue. Lots of green pots always. Blue, blue, blue. Take a couple extra health potions, including a green. Green band aid. Um, I do want that surge as well. man battle royale I wonder if that's where they want to get to at some point um, I don't know on this one this is gold and house shrine then we go for reds we do have a triple red so we won't get I probably won't go to final circle here we'll just start opening these triple reds and see how many we can get open before time runs out call it good Six reds. I might be able to get all six. Any primers in the chat, please, guys? If you've enjoyed the video so far or the permadeath run, please comment, like, and subscribe. Give us some likes and love, but I appreciate the viewership no matter what, even if you don't feel so inclined. Been a very, very relaxing run so far, especially because our first five permadeaths today all died at level one. It was really hard to climb, but this guy is definitely going the distance. Let's see, can I get one more? Can I get two more? No, no, I can't. I can't get two more, there's no way. I mean, they want to do the next, they want the whole ice, the three layer ice map, right? Ice mountain, as they call it, from um, ice village to ice caves to ice abyss to have no battle royale circle. And so we won't be forced in a direction. It'll probably just collapse after X amount of time or like the, you know, permafrost will arrive or maybe a dragon like the, the ice wave will sweep in and just like do an ice breath across the whole map and kill everybody who's still on it after, you know, 20 or 30 minutes or 10 or 20 or th whatever it is. Maybe 10 per, 10, per, um, 10 per layer is kind of what we have right now. So I think it would be interesting if we got a 100 player battle royale i don't even feel like we need 100 if we just even like 25 or 30 in like a three by three would already be pretty battle royale-ish and then there's there's pretty like equitable amount of gear spread out maybe it only goes up to blues on like normal and maybe only like you know up to purples on high roller and then you just pick things up kill each other pick up their stuff i can see that working it'd be a fun experiment as well they madness. said they're more interested. Madness and stupidity. Madness! Late night, thank you for the primal! They said they are interested in doing like more events and, you know, more experiments, especially as we head toward the test server release for the Founder Edition of the game, so... Yeah, I think they'll do a lot. I feel confident. Shit, that was dangerous. I'm just gonna surge this one off. Mm hmm. Also, with the guilds coming out, they said they they do want to do blow up the flea market. They want to do guilds and they want to do player housing. 
So all really good things on the way from both the dev Q&A and the recent hotfix. You can catch a lot of the dev Q&A. I wrote the transcript up that is available in the official Discord, edited by Discord mod Nessie. Um, and then the Darkest Hour podcast with Jay Griffia and Soma and Donnie are the ones who actually got to interview at the devs for that one. Ah, oh, fudge. Um, I shouldn't have opened this. That's asking for Centaur to come. play it safe here. PDR is up to 30% with 132 health. I definitely feel like I could fight most classes outright at this point. Chat said a no PvE battle royale would be fun. I don't know, if you guys played the recent, uh, I don't know if it's the most recent, it's been a while since I played Call of Duty, but the one of the recent Call of Duty's battle royale had a lot of AI and NPCs, and so does Fortnite. At certain uh, points of interest, they've got NPCs that are a little bit, not challenging, but, you know, they're, they offer, you know, AI level small challenges. And then you have those drop some decent loot, like almost guaranteed. So maybe there's maybe there's mini bosses, right? You can put like skeleton champions somewhere, and they have guaranteed purple. And so then you do have a reason for you know players to convene at a certain spot on the map and, and kind of duke it out, outside of just duking it out for the hell of it. I mean, right now with the the way the industry has arrived and with how open Iron Mace is about their origins and the different games they've played to arrive at the motivation to make our game. I could see them taking a lot of initiative and in doing something like that. We already have the, the bones of what feels a lot like a battle royale to me. And so it wouldn't be that hard to add a little bit to make it a unique experiment that we haven't seen before for the most part. Which boss is this? Is this, is this the bed sheet? No, it's Lich. God, I want to solo Lich, guys, but I don't think it's going to happen. It is Lich, so we'll just do some random other stuff. I'll kill Zerker. I'll probably kill uh, Centaur as well from the other module. I can kill Centaur right here as well. for a reload. I don't think I have time. He's too fast! Oh shit! I need this damage. Crouch to duel. I'm kind of afraid. I don't know. Maybe up here? No. in a couple licks. I 
You'd hate for PvP to arrive right here. I would definitely die. Mm. I guess I could jump out that way. Just be risky. Just fight him normal, he's easy. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, every, everything in this game is easy if you just don't get hit. It's easy. A demon blood. Oh, man, I'm about to make our soul. I'm about to make us a glee. Who's ready for a glee? What do I need? Some gold? <laughs> no, I just realized I can't with the new system. Not the quest. Dang. Yeah, no, I, I do have to learn that one, BSG. I've seen other people do it. I know it's possible. I just haven't learned yet, but I will. Put it on the list. I gotta get... I gotta do Cyclops. I gotta learn how to naturally fight Berserkers and Centaur. All things that I would like to do, and I will learn how to do as well. Probably should have cleared up here. I guess I tried. I really didn't have that much time since we went for Centaur instead. And typically I lock Berserker in the other room instead of fighting him. That was a good setup for it. And I could kill dogs still. I did hear a portal spawn back where we started. I think. Maybe it was in the other room? No, there it is. I don't know how much these are worth. It's probably worth more than a monster, I would guess. And then I don't really want to risk it anymore. I'm just going to leave. We're sort of outside circle. I'd have to burn through some healing. Circle's closing. I'll call it. Solid 1000. Brings us up to Wanderer 1. About 800 away from Pathy. We got Goblinos up next. Goblino! Small money run, but uh, I mean, demon blood is worth about 3,000 if we wanted to trade. It's probably the most money we've actually found in one run because of the demon blood, plus all the candy. 22 candy it probably gives us enough to gamble once more at uh, Nikolaus. I don't know what we would gamble for. I feel like we're in such a good spot. Maybe padded, that would give us a bit more movement speed. Lose a little PDR for it. What do we have here? We have 5% PDB, really, that's it. The other two sets are misses. We could also go for a Cassignon. Um, We could go for a Rugged for the 5 Vigor. What do we think, Chad? We have, um, I have 30 Canes, all right? So we can we can go for one item. What do you guys think? The Cassignon, the Padded Leggings, the Shadow Hood, or the Rugged Boots. All of those could roll well if they're Biss. What do we think in chat? We got a beautiful 500 people out here hanging out with us live. Roll the dice. <laughs> Padded dagger. Just let it refresh. I mean, that's 20 minutes from now. I I could let it refresh though. That's not a bad choice. The hood. Go for the padded. Go for move speed. Go for rugged. All right. That's. I think <laughs> death bloom. Death bloom. We'd have to have gingerbread. Um, I think we do go for a, a refresh. Honestly, we're in a really solid spot. I'd like to just replace an item that we already have. Because a lot of what we have is kind of bis. Double it and give it to the next guy. Pass it on. Pay it forward. Okay. Splurge on more good potions. Splurge on bandos. Take a look at gambling as well, of course. We got the surge kit. 
We got the troll's blood, so we can actually sit uh, stash this time if we need to. We'll grab a luck pot. And two gold coin purses again. Uh, we will do a little bit of gambling maybe over the goblino. Now he really doesn't have anything at all. I guess we could go for Rondell as a just in case. Nope, trash. And we'll buy some more throwing knives. And another five stack of bolts. Puts us in a really, really good position. Did I miss anything, chat? If so, please let me know, coach. We are on our way. It's a Pathfinder in just about four hours. Ah, oh, yeah, chat did say level 20. We did make it to 20. That is huge. So if this was a level 20 permadeath, we finally made it. It's been a while. Feeling good, looking good. Ought to be in Hollywood. Mmm. Look at this spawn. Absolute biz. Holy hell. Look at this freaking spawn chat. God damn. Man, send that to the bank. I'm about to go do Cyclops right after this. Oh, the stagger lag on the way in. That doesn't feel good. Yeah. Oh my god, the chip damage I was so far away on that. I couldn't even swap potions. I was trying to swap twice there to a healing potion. Don't you kill me, dude. Don't you kill me, Iron Mace. Look at him, he's power pointing. Oh my god. Come on, heal. Back in there. Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> so bad. Someone's outside. Definitely gonna have to fight. No, don't come in! No, don't come in! Imagine trying to two phase it, like two, like fight, team fight this, and he's just swapping aggro and pirouetting nonstop. That'd be awful. No. Oh man, I almost died from that. Oh, I should have ducked. Go right here a little bit. Just reposition him just a tad. Hope he doesn't scream. Okay, we're relaxing. Gotta be it. Really not. Gotta go right here. Oh, 
was on this side? It had a crossbow. Was that was it two bards? <laughs> A wonderful chase, friend. A wonderful chase. Got the blood pumping. Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. That is what I offer you, chat. That is all. <laughs> Thank you so much for the primal malish. This guy's down here gathering treasures for me. Thank you. Casey, I'm sorry. But it is time to die. You see? These are my treasures. I killed the troll and I get the troll loot. Wait a second. Four, oh, I didn't put my chest piece on. That was stupid. Four vigor, two strength, five agi, one vigor, armor pen, and true magic damage. Uh, I'm going to take that, but I don't know. That seems pretty good to me. Let's drop some of this stuff. Uh, look like a really good ring of courage. Put this here. Alright, I should have waited to use my troll blood a little bit, but I didn't know what was here. It could have been anything. Put a shirt on, it's cold in the caves. Aye aye, Captain. Wait, where's my loot pile? Okay, um... And I already had a lot of stuff, so we'll see. Probably I need to drink my other troll piss, honestly. Uh, actually, we have surge kits, right? I, I could just surge kit. Okay, final pull. What's the silliest thing I've died to in permadeath? <laughs> um, just misplays on my part. I'm uh, getting spider bounced. It wasn't permadeath, but I, I lost a uh, I lost a pestilence by getting spider bounced, which made me really mad. But it was my fault. I took a fight in like a weird module that I didn't have to fight, and I, I suffered immensely. And it was, it was all me. Like there was literally no one else to blame but myself. Um, I was gonna surge kit, but now I kind of feel like I just, I can just run it. What was that? West zone line west. I went into the module with the, uh, I think it's called Goblin Town. No, not Goblin Town. A different, another one that's similar. And I, I just did like really stupid plays, and I got, I got stuck under a torch, like under like a wall sconce. And I got killed, and that made me very sad. I lost pestilence, a mystical gem, and a spear of rot. 100% preventable death, literally all me. Man, I would love to kill centipedes here. I wish I had time for peds. Honestly, I don't I don't know what I do here. Like, we're running well on time. This is kind of shit, and there's a zillion goblins up top. I 
feel like I have to go up though. No, I don't have to go up. I don't have to go up. Okay. Wait, there's a portal. Yes. God. Hey, I might actually Madness. kill centipedes. Madness and stupidity. Okay, careful, careful. I'm gonna get both centipedes, actually. Okay. Another two purples, looking good. Open this, maybe pop a bunch more band-aids. And then we get the final peed. Four purple jewelry. Let's go. All right. Let's see. 600 points. So close. We almost made path in under four hours. I did go AFK for a little while. And had some long load screens. But alas, that is some serious. Let's just take a look at this jewelry that we got. I think we got five purple jewelry in total that round. Yeah, that was a really good round for jewels. So uh, three strength. That's a, eh, kind of whatever. Three vigor, two percent max health, two percent armor pen and armor. What's ours have? Nine max health. Well, let's see. One thirty-two. What's this give? One thirty. Except we gain armor and armor pen compared to a little MH. Uh, about the same level of armor as well. So we lose two health for two percent armor penetration. I'll take that. It's a good trade-off, I think. Three strength, action speed, MDB, and true. Very, very good ring. Move speed and true. This is just health, really, and a bit of PDR. I almost want to go less health on this side, too. We lose three health to gain some damage, action speed, MDB, and true. Like that looks like a good swap. Three Agi, four max health, good movement speed ring. And then Agi, movement speed, max health, again, on this side. So I'd be swapping two true for a little bit of health. I'm going to keep what we have, but these are really, really good choices. True damage on this side. I could go more move speed and health on the other side, but I would lose a bit more health as well. I'd probably go 125 here, 124 maybe. Nope, same amount. So the strength gives us very little, about the same as 1.6% max, except we get swing speed and move speed. What are we up to now? About 100% with a regal and heavy on. That feels nice. That's a good trade off, I think. And up top, I don't know, four vigor, two strength, or do we want. One Vigor, Armor Pen, and two True. Tough choice. Probably we just keep what we have. Really, really, really good round. Um, I didn't see the right pier, but it's probably great. Three power, 30 damage. 29, one. Yeah, very, very good. Plus, we've got the weapon damages boosting each other and the Armor Pen. So it's getting a little bit more expensive to drop into the map. How much time do we have? Uh, we just barely missed Goblin. My fault. I should have went a little faster. 
was enjoying the goblin and the trolling, but hopefully we can go down and get another ghost king. Someone said if your character actually makes it to permadeath, you keep it. I don't know. I didn't really have uh, any particular goals for making this permadeath other than just showcasing the possibility of like a four hour to path, no death run. Uh, I feel really good about how far we've gotten so far. Did I drop blue pots or did I use them all? I think I used a lot in that centipede fight. I was just afraid someone was going to drop down and gank me. Because they can hear the portal pretty easily and I can't hear anything when I'm in swarm fighting centipede. Between the sizzling of the poison now. And the locust consuming me. So, out of blue pots, we're going to be a little bit careful in PvP. But otherwise, we're in a really, really, really good spot. Am I missing anything, chat? Gold coin bags, we got the fortune potion, plenty of heals, and we still have another troll piss. Does dagger penetration perk work when using a rapier as primary but holding a secondary dagger? That is a great question. That's going to take some serious investigation. I don't know. I mean, this has more damage, but this gives plus one weapon damage. So that weapon damage will actually be given to the crossbow. So this combo actually works better for me, especially since I'm mostly using the hand crossbow for poke. Is invis build viable anymore? Yeah, for sure. Of course. Yeah, landmine hasn't gone anywhere at all. All right, hitting the four hour mark, I'm going to drop back into the dungeon and I will see you guys inside the crypts. Landmine is pretty much as strong as ever. It's just the, the base shitty rogue won't destroy geared players anymore, which is, thank God. And uh, strong rogues are still strong. I've, I've been killing people pretty quick so far. People just love to cry. I, I don't know what they're crying about. Like what the amount of stats that are split across gear now. Rogues, especially with true and additive damage, are going to be hitting for a lot. I can test it this time when I get in the lobby, if I'm not already in lobby. I'll go test on dummy, but I'm pretty confident we're hitting for over 300. Rogue got gutted. Rogue got it. <laughs> I mean, I'm four hours in. I feel extraordinarily strong at the moment. Um, I tested on dummy chat. I'm hitting for 300. I did 240 outright, pretty much. And then I had rupture and poison. So I, I think we did about 300 damage right there. Stagger at the start of the match is insane. Did they move this? Did they move this or am I just bad? They might have moved that, honestly. This side still looks doable, but the other side looks way further. Wait, this side also looks moved. I think they fixed that. Am I bad? Still works? Okay, it's just me. No worries, I just won't do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll just stay bad forever. Man, I haven't had lockpicks in like an hour and a half. Where are my lockpicks, Iron Mace? I don't want to farm iron. Oh, yep. You could tell when someone's been hit enough times in the head. While looting a chest. There was a reason why 50 to 70% of all solo lobbies were rogues. And it wasn't because rogue was a high skill class. It's because rogue deleted everybody, even with no gear. I mean, you could have like a green Castagnon 
and nothing else and come out of invis and three to four shot almost every player regardless of gear level especially if you landed headshots it's just gg and it needed it needed a nerf and this was a, a pretty good nerf like i don't know i've been playing for two days so far on the patch and i haven't felt like any, i haven't been upset like two patches ago i was upset at the state of wizard because magic missile was literally deteriorating any gear level no matter what at point like you could not pressure them on a melee class at all they basically got a thousand spells to throw at you and then when you went to get close you would get magic missile and die that was fixed maybe a little bit too much of a magic nerf but i think this patch helped bring back magic users because they can stack a lot of knowledge and a lot of will for fast cast speed with high damage which i really like um, someone, something's the other direction. I think I'm gonna go check that out in a second. Kinda wanna keep going with the PvP. I know it's risky and we're almost at path, but... Big risks, big reward. <laughs> big risks opening small chests for big candy canes. Yay, blue pot. I wish you could just move something in your inventory and we just swap it with like the next thing. Ooh, purple pot. Heck yeah. Nice small chests are juiced. I'm just gonna keep looting these. Who needs lockpicks? I think lock is very strong right now. Lock is, I think lock actually might be best in slot at the moment. If played by people who really know what they're doing, you, you really can't pressure it. It gets its health back very, very, very quick. Pressuring the melee gets your dark reflected. Bok absolutely devastates. Phantomized flame walk is really, really good. Um, I think Hydra's probably broken, but overall I think lock is probably the best class in the game at present, or wizard. But they're also the classes typically you see less of, and so it probably doesn't feel that way to your, the average user. But when you're fighting classes all the time, you start to recognize, like, there's not that many classes where I'm like, I shouldn't fight this. And you guys have already seen it here live in this permadeath, I'm like, I don't want to fight that. That that will highly result in my death if I misplay at all. And I don't really feel that way about anything else. Now that could just be rogue bias. I'm sure rangers are loving killing warlocks. We both hit doorway there. I wanted a doorway fight, so he hit it, but I hit it as well. Had to pull to the left a little bit on that exchange. He just closed the door, then shoot it with his crossbow. Yeah, he, he had door with crossy there, but he was trying to shoot through the window. Which is why I ducked. Uh, I don't like this. Nah, this isn't good. I have to fight all this. If I want to keep going in the zone. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I don't like this. I have to fight everything.
Is that a warlock? Or a barbarian? It's a warlock, right? Does that have a shadow mask? I don't know about that one. Nah, especially not with the axes on my back. Bard, I think? I mean, it had his Vi. Couldn't be Bard. Bard. Oh, that is a barbarian. Okay. No, no, that's not good. Where are the portals, man? What the fuck? Where are the portals? That guy's just get swarmed and dead. Oh man. I kinda wanna go back and investigate. Enjoy the wraith, goodbye! He should have stuck that. I'm really surprised he didn't stick. Do we go investigate chat or do I call it? I'd hate to fight a ranger in Inferno. Uh, I should just go for the AP, honestly. I'm pretty sure he's dead, right? There there was a lot there. Maybe he, he would have to take Wraith back to the door. You have to take Wraith back to the room I pulled it from, close it out, and then come back. Casual drive-by griefing. <laughs> Plus the spiders and all the poison. Yeah, I think, I think there was a lot going on. Chad says, how much is an epic regal game BZ worth with 5 vigor, 2 strength, 0.5 PDR, and 5% MDB? I mean, that's good for a lot of classes right now, especially Warlock. How much is it worth, though? I don't know. It's pretty juiced. 1250 plus maybe could be more could, like I think it sort of replaces the adventure tunic as the new bis for a lot of classes so it could be like six to nine ingots as well maybe a couple thousand
Are Cobalt worth anything? Yeah, Cobalt's great. Cobalt has uh, natural armor penetration now, so Cobalt is a very good set, and Copper Light's natural move speed. I think they're all pretty good. Is this Warlord? Still don't have any lockpicks, so... Wait, what? Where am I? <laughs> I feel like I never find the doorways that I want to find. That's Lich. That's a no bueno. This time we clear this side and then we kill maybe like two or three berserkers and centaur here if I can clear fast enough. What's best for Cobalt Light Footies? Oh, I don't know. Too Vigor, maybe? Too Strength? Maybe 3% max health, if it can go that high on blues? I could shove Berserker and Boss Room like we did last time, or like two or three times ago. lock them in here for now as well. Just have to kill whatever this is. Well, that's kind of a shit spot to push. That'd be alright. No pass. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Little bat. This should be fine only because mage is so slow. Oh, I ate that. For sure. I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of running low on time on this side, but I only have like two or three more monsters. I was going to do Berserkers, but I don't know if I have time for Berserkers. Dang, foreshotting. I can also just leave him here. That was almost death, to be honest. Oh, 
shit, honestly? Oh, I don't like that. Jeez. That was pretty risky. Uh, circle's moving pretty far, but center room will be easy. <sighs> yeah, I've seen the cleric torch range meta right now. It's pretty funny. I'm pretty confident they'll change it, but I don't know. It might not. It's strong, but it's not like insane. What was that? Uh, five bigger. Okay. Yeah, I don't have time to pull the Zerkers in here. I wanted to do two Zerkers in here and maybe a Centaur, but I don't think I have time for any of that. Uh, we do have Health Shrine, but Health Shrine we can use to mostly just transition to the next area. Probably have to kill this monster down here to the right. I'll grab Health Shrine and then we'll fight the final skeleton in this module, or I'll just transition through Lich with Hel uh, Invispot and not fight that. Let me see, because the circle's going to pull pretty far here soon. What do we have? Ah, oh, it's an axe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that interested in fighting, fighting that, to be honest. I'm just going to invis pot. Final health pot. Although, I guess theoretically we have like five health pots in the piss. Piss pot. Mm, I don't really see any portals. Could pull centaur into, into boss room? Or no. Maybe I just go this way? It? Nah, I want to save that. That'd be really, really helpful in the Ghost King fight. Where are the portals, man? Fuck. Fuck, I probably just killed myself. Holy shit. No! No, I just killed myself. Oh my god. No, oh, I killed myself. I should drink the piss pot after all. <laughs> Alright, well, we, we know we made it to Pathfinder. That was permit to Pathfinder, permit to level 20, whatever you want to call it. Unfortunate end. Um... Too much poison, too much traps. I should have, um, I don't know what I could have done there. Honestly, I should have just sat a little bit further away for just a moment. I probably could have ran Centaur the other direction. Jumped on Torch and then ran through. And by that time, the fire would have been gone. At least would have given me a better chance. But yeah, that I was right there. I would Now I wish I had pulled Centaur to boss room back yonder. But that's all right. 
I feel really good about that run. I mean, that was four hours and 20 minutes, no deaths. We went really far. We had an absolutely insane gear set. If this is SSF, I have a lot of gear on spare. Um, that is the no invisibility rogue about four hours in, dying to PVE of all things. Unfortunately, not a, uh, not a big climatic end, but nonetheless, I'd say that uh, about brings you to Pathy. So you can make it in about four hours if you really pressure yourself and you go the distance. Uh, we got Crips for another minute and then it would be ruined. So we'd have two more attempts at full 20 to 30 minute rotations in the Crips. Guys, it was a pleasure playing the Rogue for you. I think he did really well. Um, I'm going to trade some of the stuff away so we can delete the character. Uh, come meet me in weapons and armor. Very fast chat and I'll just give you guys all the purples. And then we'll go we'll go next we had what it took didn't quite make it but we made it to level 20 if nothing else and I, in my heart we made it where were the portals man I, i'm very surprised that there were no portals we crossed a lot of rooms could have at least opened something well, this player gets a lot lunala gets the juice man whoever lunala is enjoy an immense amount of purples some candy canes a demon blood and a dream roopster yeah very good run always a good run up until it isn't of course but man that felt good all right everybody thanks for watching i will see you live on twitch.tv slash so bad strange please comment like and love if you enjoyed any part of this video and i'll see you for the next one